of an Eric Shoemaker. Amen. Me and support me. Amen. And there is also a number of other Oakland Avenue uh, members here. And if you all would stand and we can give them a hand clap, yes. we'd yes. greatly appreciate it. I would like to thank Sister Stewart for that warm introduction. Yes. Bless my heart. Let's pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you once again for another opportunity to come to your house. I pray, Lord, that you would give, go before me to use me this morning in this message that you gave me. Lord, I pray that you hide me behind a cross. Fill these lips of clay yes. with words that would have me to say this morning, Lord. Yes. Keep me as only you can. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11. And we want to begin with the ninth verse. If you have this passage of scripture, you should see these words. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened. Verse 10 reads, for everyone who acts, receives, and he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. That was Ephesians, I'm sorry, Luke chapter 11, verses 9 and 10. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. When I received your thing, I knew right away it was special and something that needed to be addressed in the body of Christ today. Christian women standing in prayer. If there was ever a time when Christian women should be standing in prayer, it is now. We are faced with the grim reality of our husbands, brothers, sons, and nephews being under attack. In many cases, when they come in contact with law enforcement, we don't know if they're even going to come home. The same is true for our sisters, daughters, and nieces. Sisters and brothers, we are living in perilous times. And what is needed now more than ever is Christian women standing in prayer. Your theme would suggest that there is a special group of women who have accepted the finished works of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in order for you and I as women to stand together we must know that we are called to be united in the body of Christ, and we have a purpose, and our purpose is to pray to the Lord on behalf of someone else. All right. We must understand the meaning of prayer. Prayer is an address or a petition to God. In other words, prayer is you and I communicating with God. Yeah and God communicating with us. In prayer, we yield our lives and circumstances to the Lord and trust Him to act in His time and in His way. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 6.33, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things, all, shall be added to you. He will give you 
what you need and what you want yes. if you put him first. Sisters, if we prioritize him, he will make your enemies be at peace with you. If we prioritize him, he will make your cup run over. Come on now. There are many things we prioritize in our lives. How many of us make him our number one priority? Something to think about, huh? Well, one of the things we hear today, unfortunately, and I don't need to call any names, is our TV evangelists. <laughs> they want to convince us that we can make God do what we want to do. Sisters, prayer is not a means of coercing God to do what we want. It is the process of talking to God whether we're giving him praise and thanksgiving, we must at all times pray in season and out of season, during good or bad times. Right now, someone here today may feel that they are in a dry season. Begin to praise and thank God that he is bringing you through to a place of refreshment. Magnify and bless his name yes. and the goodness in your life. Yes. As you turn up your praise, he will turn up the rain. Yes. And you will experience his abundant outpouring yes. in every area of your life. Yes. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, but those who wait on the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. Yes. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Yes. They shall run over and not be weary. Yes, they shall walk and not faint. Right. Yes. And you, O oh Lord, yes. I place my trust. Yes. Peter told us in 1 Peter 5 and 7 that we can cast all of our cares, anxieties, and worries upon him because he truly cares for you. Amen. 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 Now this is personal. You have to ask him, Father, help me to be patient, loyal and faithful in all that I do. Renew a trusting, steadfast spirit that I am able to firmly place my heart in your capable hands. And thank you. Thank him for renewing your spirit. Now, we have your theme here. It's Christian women standing in prayer. There are three things that we must know and do. The first thing we need to know is the person of prayer. In the beginning of the 11th chapter of Luke, we find that the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. That's right, that's right. As John the Baptist also taught his disciples, Jesus responds in verse 2 of chapter 11 and says, When you pray, say, Our Father. Yes, yes. Sisters, we must know who we are addressing in our prayers. Right. We must, when we pray, we should use the example of what Jesus taught us to say, Father. Yes. Yes. The title Father signifies our relationship with the Most High God. Yes. That's right. That's right. We are His children. Yes. As Christian women, once we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we were adopted and baptized by the Holy Spirit into the family of God. That's right. That's right. If we are going to stand in prayer, then we must know who we are praying to. Yeah, that's right. When we pray, we are praying to our God who is our Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a relationship with God as, as our Father through Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. We are reminded in 1 John 3 and 1, Behold, whatever manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, yeah. that we should be called children of God. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We can go to God as our Father with confidence that he will hear us. Yeah. Right. Not only will he hear us, but 
He will respond to us. Yeah, that's you just right. gotta listen. That's right. That's why the writer of Hebrews encourages us in Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us therefore yeah. come boldly yeah. to the throne of grace that's right. that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Yes. Yes. If we as Christian women are going to stand in prayer, not only should we know the person of prayer, mm -hmm. but we should also know the purpose of our prayer. Yes. 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 Prayer has a purpose, mm -hmm. and the purpose of prayer is for you and I to, go, to grow closer to Jesus Christ. Yes, right. God our Father. Again, we are in a relationship with God uh, as our Father. And there is no way to have a meaningful relationship without communicating and listening to His voice in our lives. Yes, right. Sometimes we think our prayers are just not going to be answered. Mm. Or we don't get things for ourselves. However, that's not the case. Right. Mm -hmm. We should be praying on behalf of someone else. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. As women, we spend way too much time <laughs> talking about one another. That's right. Right. Let me say that again. As women, we spend way too much time talking about one another. as the body of Christ oh, yeah. to edify one another. That's right. That means they will each other up. Yeah. 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 each other down. Oh, yeah. right. And when we pray for each other, essentially yeah. that's what we're doing. We're building each other up. Right. Right. Pray for your sisters and yes. 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 I need you. You need me. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Paul writes in 1 Timothy 2 and 1, first of all, then I urge that supplications, prayer, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. Sisters, we have to make it a habit to pray and intercede on behalf of another sister. I can't say it enough. We don't know what another sister is going through. We don't need to know. All we need to do is pray, pray, pray. God knows what she's going That's through. Right. God knows what I'm going through. Right. God knows right. what you're going through. Right. Yeah. He expects you and I to pray for each other. Yes. Paul encourages us in Ephesians 6.18, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Sisters, the purpose of prayer, first and foremost, is to grow closer in our relationship to God. Yes. And also to intercede on behalf of others. That's right. That's right. If we, are, as, if we as Christian women are going to stand in prayer, we must know the person of prayer. Who is that? Our Father. That's right. Secondly, we must know the purpose of prayer. Yes. And lastly, we must be persistent in prayer. Yeah. 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 That's right, man. That's right. That is what Jesus is saying to you and I in the text this morning. Jesus says in the text in verse 9, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Too many times we are quick to just throw in a towel. Mm -hmm. We just don't think our prayers are getting answered. So I'm not going to pray for it no more. Mm -hmm. Too many times we want to just give up. Jesus gives us three distinct ways to be persistent in our prayers. Mm -hmm. Number one, acts. Right. First and foremost, ask. Make your request known to God. 
We have to verbally communicate to God what we want to give up. Jesus gives us the right to come to him. He knows our hearts. Number two, seek. We should be trying to find out if what we are requesting is in God's will for our lives. Deuteronomy 4.29 says, but from there you will seek the Lord, your God, and you will find him. If you search after him with all your heart and with all your soul. Number three, not. Sometimes we find some obstacles in our way. A door that appears to be closed is an opportunity. Or something is blocking us from a need or a want from the Lord. Jesus encourages, keep on knocking. Keep knocking on the door. But we have to make sure we're knocking on the right door. The right door is the will of God yes. for our lives. Yes. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. As I come to a close, I want to encourage us as sisters to spend some time with the Lord. Amen. Do you know that one of the sweetest sounds we can say to our Heavenly Father is when we use His Word. Amen. Yes. Yes. And the 119th number of Psalms, verse 11 says, Your Word I have hidden in my heart yes. that I might not sin against you. Amen. Listen, nobody puts money into a vending machine when it's out of order. So why would God put something in you and you're out of Paul says in Colossians 4 and 2, continue earnestly in prayer. Being vigilant and what? I'm sorry. Continue earnestly in prayer. Being vigilant and what? in it with thanksgiving. Okay. Sorry for messing with that word. Prayer can be effective if it's consistent and considerate. Mm -hmm. Christian women, we are engaged in a spiritual warfare. And now more than ever, we need to stand together. We need to stand together in prayer. We need to be unified. We need to be on one accord, just as Jesus was, on one accord with his Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We know that over 2,000 years ago, Jesus gave his life to you and I. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Power that is 
that's in Jesus' hands yeah. has the power to enable us and empower us as Christian women to stand in prayer. Amen. May God bless and keep you. Amen. Amen.